Machine first appeared on TV. This weekend, a thousand Doctor Who fans will be gathering in London for a special convention to celebrate the event. In fact, the TARDIS still seems to be in pretty good nick, as you can see, because now, back from the 1970s, here are John Pertwee, who played the Doctor from 1970 to 74, and Katie Manning, who played his assistant, Joe Grant. Hi, Hello. come on in. <laughs> it's big in there, enough for loads of people. Listen, come we have, have a lovely seat. time. Shall I come that yeah, way? Yeah, come in. Of you. course you can. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse That's me. quite all right. Excuse me. You look tremendous. You look big. Thank John, you. come on in. Oh, have am I a supposed seat? to come out as well? No, no, you stay there. You come <laughs> home. We just need to have a chat. <laughs> Well, you can come. To fall you can in come. Oh yes, yeah. John used to hold the top of the TARDIS up with his head. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get away these things. Stadium. The TARDIS is huge inside. It's a very much better yes, TARDIS. Yes, it is. I believe. Yes. Listen, you look great. Thank you. You look so good. Tell us what what have you been up to since Doctor Who? Oh, I mean, I, well, I went to Australia with my That's twins, who are now fifteen. Go they off. finally made fifteen, and I basically non-stop work in Australia. I mean, I've just finished a play. Right. The night that I finished it, the next morning, I flew over here. Right. So, and I've been doing educating Rita for about the last four years. Oh, that's great. So, <laughs> Listen, there's a pal in here for you. Oh Hello. My God. Hello there. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning darling. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like John Major. Big in there, but those doors are small. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the only thing about you, Dalek, was that you were pretty, sort of, well, not all that wonderful, because you couldn't go up the stairs. He can now. Don't can. remind me. <laughs> 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 but they can now. They, can they, they? Yes, they actually can. We have, this is where we used to absolutely have it over them, but now they can go upstairs too. So can you still mm -hmm. stop them by putting something over the... the over the eye. eye. Yes. Yes. I just thought I'd let you know, uh -huh. so don't uh -huh. get pushy. They're actually quite <laughs> sweet. I mean, I remember being terrified of these things, and I used to sit behind the sofa, like, really frightened, but they're really rather fetching. They're rather true. true. Not that there's about 4,000 of them marching towards you, going <laughs> No, this is true. So listen, there's a great big convention. Whereabouts is that? The Novo Hotel in Hammersmith. Uh, on Saturday and Sunday. Is he going to be there? Uh, yes. He's, he's going to be. I shall be patrolling the exhibition hall. Oh, well done. Good. I'm delighted to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if this go Oh, look, what else has happened oh in here? Ah, <laughs> now, they were scary. Actually, they were. That, that, that's a silence. You can't see it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I used to stand there and all these things were going on. And I, I, I lived going like a French impressionist world because I'm terribly, terribly myopic. And so I never knew what was in front of me, what dangers were there. And it's like, oh, oh, I see. It's a Cyberman. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you were a scary old chap, weren't you? Can he speak? I can. Oh, I wish I had Sounds asked. like me, doesn't it? <laughs> I can. What was the one that you were the most scared of? Was it this one? And um, this one, and that, do you remember those things called the, the Ogrons? The Ogrons, yeah, oh, they were very good. There's yeah. something about them, apart right. from their size. Right. Well, the, the, what there was about them was the first time we'd seen them, the, the human eye and the human mouth. Do you remember they were half masks? Oh, well, they were so horrible. Yes. That's I right. remember they were them. They were Yeah, they were, they, were, they were scary. Well, they were all um, ex-boxers and, right. and stunt men. They were <laughs> six, six foot eight In high. Nosha Powell. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, this, the, the yeah, whole sort of convention high. thing has really taken off, though, hasn't it? I mean, the fans won't let this show go. They want, they want more, and yet they, they want, they want America, more. America, Australia, crazy. and here in the UK. I mean, it's... It's amazing that all these years later, I mean, I'm sure John is, mm -hmm. you know, but I'm still getting letters yeah. from all over the place, I mean, which I find quite extraordinary, because it was just a gig, the best and most fun gig I've ever done in my life, yeah. and it's still going. I know, it's extraordinary, isn't it? Yeah. I'm holding the Cyberman's hand, there's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> I, think he's, I think he's quite nice as well, I've changed I my do. mind. He's all right. I don't get letters. Oh, oh, sweetheart, we'll write to him I'm tomorrow. I'm sorry. If anybody is out there and wants to write yes. to this Dalek, please write to him because he's... Yes, he's looking very droopy. Look, his egg whisk is on the droop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's better. I was up all night doing souffles. I'm tired. <laughs> it's not, oh, you're it's not John's crop mountain in there, is it? <laughs> You younger mean there's a man in here? Younger and better looking. Yeah. <laughs> there's nobody in there. There's nobody in there. There's nobody in there. Listen, nobody we wish home. you all the best with the convention. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Cyberman. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Come indeed. behind the sofa anytime. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Dalek. That's okay. Thank you very much indeed. And it's great to see you both. It really is. Thank Thanks you very, very much. Thanks indeed. A lot. Right. <laughs> I've just got a moment to let you know that this morning we have a megastar in the studio just after ten past eight. This morning, housewife superstar Dame Edna Everidge. Oh. After the break, another old favourite gets a new airing. It must have been love for Richard Gere and Julia Roberts in the movie Pretty Woman. Get ready to sing along in a couple of minutes.
Charlie, thanks very much indeed. Good to see you this week. Thanks, Charlie. Right, it's the 30th anniversary of Doctor Who, and Mr. Motivator has an extremely handsome and very special guest working out with him. Hey! Give me a yo, guy! Yo! Hey, he's wicked! Okay, uh, hey, look, watch it now. Your turn, me. let's go. Legs apart, stomach tight, yeah, just take a deep breath in, yeah, that's the way we always start, yeah. Gotta get the blood circulating around that body. Is that right, sir? Give me a yo again! Yo, man! All right, you're you're down. Push to the side, yeah. Okay, now we're pushing up and down, yeah, on the toes. Hey, don't concentrate on this guy. You need a real knee. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Up and down. All right. Okay, we gotta get really funky, guy. Can you do it? Yo! Yeah, well, you can do it. Yeah, he's bad. Here we go. Now push it up. Hey, we're going to lose him in a moment because we're going to get super technical where machines can't do what we can do. Here we go. Go. Ooh. Ah. Let's go. Go. Ooh. Ah. Come on, give me it. Ooh. Ah. Let's go. Go. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, he's better at sound effects. Let's do it. Let's go. Ooh. Ah. Let's go. Everybody, march it on the spot. Now he can't do this. Are you ready? Yeah, we're going to get really funky. OK, take those legs out apart. Uh-oh, he's trying to do it. Let's do it. Go. Uh. All right, we're pumping it up and down. Yeah, pump it up and down. He can't do it. OK, knees coming right up. OK, now pump the hands in the air. Let's talk about this. Every time the hands go above the heart, what's happening? The heart's working harder. Now, listen, I've had some great lessons the last few weeks because you have said that man's making exercise fun. And it is. As long as you get the body moving, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Just make it all happen. OK, let's give me a step touch. Here we go, here we go. We're moving. OK, now listen, next week, we are going to concentrate on some specific parts. We're going to work the body out. We're going to turn up the stomach, turn up the butt, turn up those legs. You've got to have a good weekend now. Be careful out there. I know it's really bad, but you just be careful and have some fun. Here we go. Great stuff. I thought the Dalek did very, very well indeed. Mr. M was working out there to do You Want to Funk, F-U-N-K, by Sylvester. Right, after the break, the Dalek's back. We take a trip through time with Britain's best-loved space traveller. That's Doctor Who. Well, there's no prizes for getting what the next item's all about. We've got the TARDIS in the studio for a trip in time and space. It feels like we've travelled back 20 years in time to welcome the Doctor and his assistant, Joe Grant, better known as John Pertwee and Katie Manning. Hi, it's nice to see you. Oh, well, We've just been it shopping. It <laughs> What's it like in there? Is it still as lovely and big? Oh, and oh, oh huge? yes. It's bringing it's, back memories. I know. It's dimensionally transcendental. Oh, goodness which me. Which means it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. It certainly is. I can't believe it's 20 years ago, though. Look at you two. You look I great. I can't believe it was 20 years ago. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, and the whole phenomenon is just... You know, it still captures people's imaginations to this day. It's great. Well, I did um, Educating Rita, a, a play in, in Australia, which I've as they've done quite a lot now. And there's a thing in that where Rita has decided to educate herself. Right. And uh, so she's sort of talking like this, mm -hmm. you know, trying to be terribly posh, you know. And suddenly he said, you know, do you not talk like that? You sound like a Dalek. <laughs> and she says, I am not a Dalek. <laughs> and, it, you know, so it's actually in the place. It's in the dictionary now, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> of course it is. And you two are going to be going to the, the huge big do, yes, the big To the big do, the big, the big, big 30th. <laughs> And, and concert, the other doctors yes. are still with us? They're going to be there too? There are, uh, I believe, about four doctors mm. are coming, right. yes. 30 years, it's amazing. And they're not going to make any more? The BBC, do we know? Well, apparently not. No, apparently we were going to do this special, which, right. as you know, that was cancelled, through, as they explained it, as logistical reasons, which covers a multitude of things. It certainly does, doesn't yeah. it? It's crazy. Also, though, you'll be joined by some really, I mean, we saw... The Beautiful, beautiful. He's lost weight beautiful since he did Dalek. the exercise. He's you know, he's trimmed <laughs> off a bit. He, he was motivated. Yeah, that was now, I used to be scared of you, but I'm not scared of you anymore. I think you're great. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Do you know, Lorraine, that we, we're back, we're, although Doctor Who has been cancelled, we're back on the air. We're doing it on, on radio now. That's right. You've, you've done it on radio, which yeah. is great. And also UK Gold are showing some of the... Some of the episodes as well. Do you think that it's it's held up in, in time? You know, in you Australia, it's on at four thirty in the morning. Every morning, <laughs> yes. Well, over here, it's on Sunday morning. Oh, really? Sunday morning. Oh, but that's well. on what UK Gold. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. They do. They play the whole the whole story. Which is great. Now we've do we do it on uh, on radio on cassette uh, right. for the the uh, BBC audio cassette pack. 
Tonight, uh, isn't it? It's five on tonight, 5.30 on Radio 5. Great stuff. For five weeks, and if it's successful, it'll, they'll go on making them. Because, well, I'm sure it will be, because the BBC make a fortune out of, out of videos, and I know they've got loads and loads of videos out just now. They make a huge amount of In fact, yeah. it is one of them is a top-selling video I heard. I mean, this is in Australia. I get everything yeah. sort of days later. <laughs> well, you know, one of us was, yes. yes. Then there's a new pack that they're selling in the... Um, at the well, we should have one, but... Uh, it, it, it comes in a lovely tin. And has right. it, 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 <laughs> it got Daleks in it? Comes in a lovely Where tin. Where is it? Has anybody got one? Yeah, are you in it, Daleks? Throw it. Throw it. Come. You're not? There you are. Look. Oh. Oh. Put it on the casting couch. <laughs> You're on the front of it, Daleks. There you are. And it's got inside, it should have uh, two Dalek stories. And that's a, that's a new... Oh, that's great. That's a that? new... It makes a great bit, lunchbox, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, a new bit of merchandising. <laughs> He's great, though. I really like him. Can you get upstairs now? Remember before you... No. Came? Can. Yes, you can. Yes, I can. Yes, all right, if you say so. <laughs> and if I put something, you always used to put your jacket over his eye. Over his eye, that's, that's right. That makes him get very confused. Well, yes. you would me, too. Oh. Um. Well, once, <laughs> once when uh, we, we made a terrible mistake, we took the lid off the Dalek and... Uh, because you know, it's not the Dalek itself is not a, not a Dalek. It's a horrible, it's a, it's a nasty gungy inside, thing, inside, which we made out of mm. spaghetti and. And, and green washing up liquid and a glass eyeball. <laughs> and we put it in the middle and we made the mistake of showing it. And about 90% of the viewers just passed out and threw up. <laughs> so we never showed the dialogue again. Oh, I, th I think it's rather nice. And what a handy weapon to have. Yes. In your possession. Every home should have one, really, should, should instead of a one. guard dog. They are rather pricey, though. Mm, yes. But I'm always in the kitchen. Yes, it's got an egg whisk. <laughs> you have a block sink. <laughs> <laughs> you want to mix some things? His egg whisk. He's got the egg whisk. <laughs> Listen, Dalek, thank you. That's you, all right. You were very nice working out with Mr. Motivator. Can someone help me down the stairs? <laughs> oh, what a shame. Help uh, yourself. And thank you, too. And have a great convention. Not at all. No, we're it's looking going forward to it. It's going to be great fun, actually, yeah. because I'm seeing all these people I haven't seen for so long. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Dalek. That's all right. Bye -bye. Thank you for asking me. <laughs>